Hello. I'm just gonna start the video out talking about this. I am gonna show you all the replacement and what we took apart. Before we get to that, uh, we just don't know what this is. Uh, we ordered this off eBay, this replacement belt. And every other belt that I've looked on on eBay after uh, even getting this one looked again, they're all just normal with the uh, one connection at the bottom, which we'll, you'll see later in this video, and then the one piece here that stops the belt coming down. But uh, somehow we just got the one seat belt that's different. There's not that little piece that really holds the belt, uh, the buckle part, but there's this like metal block where the seat belt strap itself is wrapped around. And uh, I just don't know what it is. Um, so I was wondering if anybody out there watching or who clicked on this video knows what this is for exactly. If you could just let us know, uh, that'd be cool. But yeah, we'll get to the uh, install now. What's up, my name is Kamal, and today we're replacing one of the seat belts on our 2006 Porsche Cayenne S. First thing I guess to talk about is just the seat belts themselves. Uh, when looking to purchase a seat belt to replace ours, which is damaged, you might find it a little difficult finding anything new. I think that all the seat belts in the vehicle are actually discontinued by Porsche, except for the driver's seat belt. But I think if you want to drive buy the driver's seatbelt new, it's going to run you about 350 or so, depending on the dealer you get it from. We got ours, which is this one right here, the um, driver's side rear seatbelt that was frayed, which we'll show you how we got to. It was 50 bucks shipped to our house off eBay, so I will check eBay out because we saw a lot of options for a lot of the seatbelts. So the only problem with that is you don't know how used it was but the one we got, it looks pretty good. First thing uh, you wanna do is just disconnect the battery. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the battery is actually under the driver's seat, but there's a ground cable in front of the seat. You just have to remove this plastic tab that covers right there, and then it's a 13 millimeter nut that holds this ground cable on right there. Just pull that off, and if you want, you could wrap it in a towel or something just to make sure it doesn't fall back down there and ground out. After I disconnect the battery, I just like to flip the headlights on really quick and back off. That kind of just helps dissipate any leftover residual energy in the car. By the time you actually get to the point of disconnecting the belt, the rest of the energy should be gone. So you won't have an airbag go off because that's kind of the main concern with this because the seat belts are part of the SRS system. And when you hear those three letters SRS, we usually all think of airbags. So just to be safe, that's what you want to do. So Miranda took most of this off. So just to quickly run y'all through what we're doing, because depending on which belt you're doing, it's going to be a little different. We flip the seat forward and then down under here where you can't see now is the bottom anchor point of the seat belt. So just remove the bolt for that. Then we folded this forward and started taking off a lot of the trim pieces on this side. Uh, just so you know, this piece here that adjusts the height of the belt. All of that will actually fit through this hole, so you just use this same piece. And then as far as this part of the belt, which also has a bolt right here, it goes right here. So you can completely take this stuff off, or you can see we just kind of bungeed this to hold it out of the way. This part actually, where the backrest will snap onto, was like this kind of covering where the belt was hidden underneath there. And then from back here, um, I actually did remove the top piece right here and this corner piece right here where the speaker plugs in because this part, that's all underneath that. And then the only other thing we did for pulling this off besides all these clips is right here. There's a T30 screw. No, T25 and there are oh, T25. And there's one here as well. So for all these pieces, there are some Torx screws. So if this one has a T. Well, they're all either T30 or T25. Yeah, so that's the gist of it. The only other thing I wanted to mention is everything is the same on these, except there's this one odd part here where it's kind of just looped around this metal bit, whereas our original one does not have that. But 
the amount of seatbelt you can see in there, yeah, you can see how ours is torn right there. It looks the same, so I'm not gonna mess with this. I'm gonna leave it as it is and install it. And we'll let y'all know after we get everything back together how it is. But you can actually see on here that the part numbers are the same. You might have noticed earlier there was a slot in the body of the vehicle where this goes into and then slides down and then you can line up your bolt under there and then there's same size bolt here and you torque both of those to 37 foot pounds and you see like this little tab right here is what allows us to move up and down which will be controlled by this bad boy once it's in there and then we also got our connector which looks like this just push that back into here do you want to plug it in part right here that opens up and then I guess you also press down on this when removing it but to put it back that plugs in there and then this kind of like just holds it for like double security you know this is where like I said earlier the backrest of the seats gonna slam into these the tightening torques only 15 foot-pounds when Miranda was removing this, it felt like they were pretty loose, but that's because I guess you don't torque them too much. But we might go just a little more snug. What do you think? I don't know, babe. We'll see how it feels. And then lastly, there's this one down here, which is also 37 foot-pounds. The only weird thing with this part is it was kind of tricky to get through here. Um, did kind of leave some marks on it, but we were able to get it through. So it works. I just, uh, I have no idea what, what this is or why it's here. We didn't want to like try and take it off of this because it seems like it came that way and i mean it works it just kind of like <laughs> you know. so yeah yeah if you know what that is let us know and if we should or can even remove it because if we even if we try cutting this thing we risk cutting this belt so i don't know thanks for watching see you guys in the next one peace